This right here is a 100 year old camera and I'm not lying to you, this camera was made in 1926 so call me a liar for about 6 years but this camera is incredibly old and it has not been used in over 70 years. So I thought to myself why not go and grab some film for the camera and see if we can actually end up taking a photo on a 100 year old camera. So for the first shot, I decided to set my shutter speed to 1 over 25 and to keep my aperture between 2 and 3 because there wasn't really a lot of light in between the grapevines. So we've just finished taking the first photo on the camera in this beautiful vineyard. I'm going to go around the area, capture a couple more shots and then we're going to head over to our next location which is the Cold Bay Harbour to go and capture some shots of the really nice boats that are there docked in the harbour. Before we carry on, I want to very briefly explain how this camera actually works and what you have to do in order to take a photo. Firstly, you have your shutter speed up in the top over here. You can go on T, B, 25 or 50. B stands for bulb mode, so you can hold it open for as long as you want. And then obviously you have your 25 and your 50. At the bottom here, we have our aperture, which ranges from one to four. And if you change your aperture down here, you can actually see your lens open and close. The next thing we have on the camera is the shutter button. It's a little gray lever here that you simply click down and it takes a photo for you. Then we have this little screw. You simply move it forward and backwards to focus. Now this is very difficult to focus on because you cannot see yourself changing the focus through the viewfinder. Once you've taken your photo, you use the knob on the side here to turn until the number at the back over here changes to the next digit, indicating that you can now take a new photo on a new clean piece of film. Now that you guys know how I'm going to be taking the photos, we can carry on with the rest of the video. It is Saturday afternoon, I've just received an email with the photos that the camera store have sent to me and I'm very very excited to say that I managed to capture eight photos on a 100 year old camera. This has absolutely blown my mind because I really didn't think this thing would work after sitting in a cupboard for 70 odd years and looking at the photos now I'm really really impressed with how they came out. I did not expect to see this sort of color come out on a 100 year old camera but unfortunately every single one of them are out of focus. I'm going to show you the photos now which actually look pretty cool. I have put them into Lightroom and tried to bring back as much sharpness and clarity as possible but unfortunately I wasn't able to save them so I'm going to chuck all eight photos up on screen then I'm going to show you my favorite ones and I'm going to show you what they look like after I edited them. So now that you've seen all eight photos, I'm sure you can agree with me that they are out of focus unfortunately, but the colors are something that I really did not expect. I'm going to show you my three favorite photos which I was able to best recover and add a little bit more sharpness into them. My favorite photo out of them all was this one overlooking the water. I really liked it because I liked the colors that came out and the fact that I was able to uh, regain some sharpness and some clarity into the photo with a little bit of editing. And then my second favorite photo is the photo of the red boat at the harbor. I like this one because I really like the colors and how the red just pops off of the boat and also again the fact that I was able to get a little bit more sharpness into the photo. Lastly my other favorite photo has to be between this shot of the boat and this shot of the vineyard because I love how both of them came out even though they were out of focus I really like the colors unfortunately I wasn't able to get as much sharpness into these ones overall the colors just really popped for me and that's it guys that was me taking eight photos on a 100 year old camera I really did not know what to expect I didn't know if the photos would even come out so I'm really really happy that they came out even though they were a bit blurry and I'm sure you guys are as amazed as I am with how the camera is able to capture some really decent photos when it is 100 years old. And I just want to say that I am so happy that cameras these days are so easy that you can literally switch them on and click one button to take a photo. That camera, you literally have to do everything yourself. Shutter speed, aperture, 
even your focusing is done by yourself. Really hope you enjoyed seeing me test out a 100 year old camera and I hope that you enjoyed seeing the results as much as I did. This will be my last video for the year so I'll see you guys next year and I just want to say a quick thank you for all the support on my Barcelona cinematic. If you haven't watched it yet I'll put it down in the description below and thank you for a really awesome 2019. We gained 1,000 plus subscribers and we had over 100,000 views on the channel. So thank you for a great 2019 and I'll see you guys in 2020.